Well, hold on a moment here. This game, this game looks familiar and beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, welcome back to Ravenfield. So this is the map called Miniature D-Day. It's by the Emperor. This is the first map he's ever made, and he mentioned that he's looking to make more. So let's all give him a round of applause because this map looks awesome. And if you want another map maker to join the fray in Ravenfield, but today, we're gonna take that beach, and then once we take it, we are gonna hold it. We are going to be exploring every little bit. Oh my god, I love those things! Amphibious, oh my god. And look, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I swear that never happens. We've got guys parachuting out. We've got amphibious armored personnel carriers. Look at those cute little things, man. Now all we need is like some jet skis or... It'd be really fun, Emperor, if we made one where it was all amphibious landing craft. That would be dope. I would love to see that. And any D-Day map, I'm gonna play. So yes, welcome back to Ravenfield. We got some D-Day, and hey, buddy, you're not on my team, are you? Bloon! Oh, for a second, I thought it was his name was Baron. Hey! All right, my first and my, what, I don't know, fifth shot were good ones. So, I'm gonna try to get me, oh my god, no way. Oh, those are, that's the enemy team. Pair dropping on the beach. You gotta love it. Ravenfield. All right, boys, all aboard, all aboard. Don't take my APC. <gasps> Dang it. Wait. Oh, I got, I got, I got command of this here vehicle. How many men are in my squad? All right, boys. Whoa, follow the big boat. Okay, so yeah. This, this miniature D-Day. See, that's the thing. Like, if you think about it, a lot of the D-Day maps. Oh, -ho -ho! As this guy tries to mount me and make more little APCs, I get it, we need more, but that's just not the way it works when we're talking machinery, Billy. Alright, so let's go. But yeah, if you think about D-Day maps in Ravenfield, normally they're big. Honestly, most of the ones I've played are even too big, right? And you want them to be appropriately sized. This feels nice and small. And it just kind of works so far. Look at that. We got my coaxial machine gunner. Oh, never mind. That's kind of the secondary turret. Like, I don't know why they're not shooting at me. Maybe because I turned off all of the, uh, oh, I don't know. Turned off all of the armor-piercing weaponry so that our boats could actually get to the beach. I don't know. It's a sandbox game, boys. We gotta do what we want. Can I switch this to a machine gun? Oh, strafing. Hold on. Yeah, not the best anti-aircraft gun, is it? It's an auto cannon, not a flat gun. It's a probably not a stopwatch. <laughs> I don't know why that came to me, but it did. We're talking comparisons, and catchy songs are catchy songs. And I will apologize to nobody except myself. So as we go up here and dream of making marshmallow and peanut butter sandwiches, we gotta we gotta remember our main objective here, and that is to carpe la beach. Seize the beach! Get out of my way! <laughs> oh my god, I love it! Oh, okay, so... Let's see, hold on. Do I have anybody in on board? Attack! Attack the beach! Oh my god, I didn't mean like send in the enemy paratroopers. We're, we're having a bit of situations, but yeah. Oh, look at this, boys. We've got another APC over there. I think this is working out. Is there... I was gonna say, how come I cannot hit this man? Oh, this guy, you, you're lucky. Oh, I just got Dre. Dre! Why don't you ever join me? We could- we could join this crusade together as brothers in arms, Brazzi Parusi, except unfortunately, Ravenfield's never gonna be multiplayer. We really, really want it to be. Look at that. Red team's already victorious. Wait, do we- we couldn't have taken all the flags, right? Oh, that's because we're on this mode. Alright, well, let's go explore it a little bit. Alright, so we just got to the defense trenches, and so you can see that there's heavy machine gun emplacements. There's these giant, like, I don't know, I know the US used them in Iraq like around their big bases and then we've got sandbags too but they're basically giant sandbags they almost look like a giant minecraft block and yes i'm actually curious if you guys want me to start some minecraft on the channel because honestly it's the game that got me into youtube in the first place and i love it and i know that there's a ton of mods so we could find a cool mod are there what are the coolest mods for minecraft let me know all right, so we get up here, and it looks like this is the base. Oh, this is definitely the base, right? So check this out. Oh, man, these heavy machine guns. Hey! Get off that machine gun. Yeah, give me ammo. Oh. Oh, okay. I was going to say, that is a terrible view, but when you just right-click to kind of aim down the sights. Da-da-da-da-da. Da-da-da-da-da. 
you can definitely see the enemy beach. All right, so now it's time to defend the beach. All right, so if we're gonna be defending the beach, I feel like a sniper. All right, so we're spawning it back here in the base, and I'm trying to find where is the tip of the spear. Well, I guess, where's the best spot for me to be? Look at this. Can we, can we pop one of these guys? <laughs> Have a triple backflip, Billy! Oh my god, what if I could hit him on the way down? Do you think I can do that? Alright, aim small, miss small. Ooh, that was a little premature. Hey, hold on. Oh, that's my thumpy thump. Wait, what's X? Oh, it's a smoke grenade, right? Oh my god! Those armor-piercing... Yeah, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? So I just realized the importance of these little platforms as being a really good firing, uh, spot. Kobe! You think we can hit him from here? I mean, I know we can if we get- Oh, that's a little- Alright, we just gotta find our reference point. Nope, still- We need gotta go, like, right here. I think that's it. If we can hit the docks- Hey, Got him! Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. Now, everybody can be a good sniper in slow motion. Well, you could also be a equally as bad one. Alright, so we gotta count for the gravitation of the Earth. <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm done. I'm done trying to be a good sniper. Clearly, it's just not in the cards. Let's find a heavy machine gun. I think there's one in all of these. Yes, there are. Whoa. Does this one not work? Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what happened. All right, so we're just like spraying and praying right now and uh, needless to say our prayers are being answered There's some guys hiding in the oh my gosh. This is this is the perfect time Get off my beach. Oh my god discount discount double check that just got taken out by uh, by me actually All right, let's see. There's some guys swimming and I want to play whack-a-mole Yeah tank you sir are not you don't have an upper glacis. I don't know, I was trying to make a tank pun and, and just none came to me, so... Upper glacis was the first thing. So what's over here? I never really checked out the Puebla area over here. I guess this is the barracks and bunkers? We got a well! I mean, I, I would like to think that- Ooh! Get off my lawn! I mean, none, no one on my team is on the flat gun. I'm, I'm kind of... A little scared about that. Alright, that, that looks red to me. Reloads the auto cannons, Hans! We have the enemy bomber! Oh, come on, blue team victorious. Yeah, the enemy is up in the air. Yavol. Now, what's gonna be cool is like when modders kind of like when we get other m mod weapon packs and vehicle packs because I feel like a, a miniature D-Day style of map is actually really, really good for Ravenfield because it fits with it. I mean, if you think about the first couple mops, mops, I was thinking, I was reading bomber and thinking maps. Oh, hold on. Apparently, it's rude to shoot at down pilots, but they're not on my team. Goodbye, Rob Storm. Goodbye, other guy that just got out. Hold on. Hold on. We can't let him live, because he's... He's... That would make him an experienced veteran in this harder kill the next time. Where are you, Robbie? Come here, Ricky Bobby Robbie. We know he's out there in the water. And we got a, a nice... I don't know. You see him out there? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Also, we're gonna get that guy too. Well, we hit him. Thumpy McThumper! Oh, please hit! Oh, Kobe! No, no, I'm, I'm not. Needless to say, basketball was never my sport. But yeah, look how cool it is seeing the enemy beach. Now, what I would love... Ugh! <laughs> Vengeance! That is karma. That's instant karma for you. So look at the map, right? Now, the enemy's got three spawn points, and the blue team starts here with five, and then there's kind of four neutral beach territories, and depending on how you set it up, you can make it harder or easier for the enemy team to take them. But here, we're gonna kind of spawn right in those first defensive trenches, right? And we're gonna take a look. But basically, so you can kind of see all the map, and then just kind of, hold on. Hold on, guys. We got some enemies coming up here. We gotta take them out. Now, there's that... Our, oh, boom, 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 boom. I wonder how many people he just took out on my team. But wouldn't it be cool to have like a map style where it was a tug of war where on one side you had a base and that base was mirrored on the other one. On the other side, right? It's mirrored. So thus meaning 
it's the same, and everybody has an equal chance of victory because they start with the same stuff. In the middle, there's water or maybe World War One style trenches, and then, you know, but obviously in the whole D-Day- OH! HIT THE DECK! In the D-Day setting, you know, it would be water, amphibious landing craft, uh, LVTs, etc, etc, little Higgins boats or rib boats or whatever it is you want to choose. Whatever poison pickles your fancy, which I don't think is a phrase. And now that I say it out loud, it definitely isn't, but sometimes it just sounds kind of weird. Hey, boys! Hit the deck! But I think it would be awesome because as a different mode, where it was called Tug of War, base versus base. Something in the middle, whether it be trenches, water, rivers, or freaking, I don't know, hardcore parkour in the middle. And then the enemy team has to fight. I just wish Ravenfield got multiplayer, but I don't think it ever will. Hold on, there's a big old boat. Thumpy McThumper! Oh wow, they, they're dead, aren't they? Now that we're up closer, should have a better chance hitting the enemy with these grenade rounds. And they've got their- oh man, that thing in the middle is dirty. Let's see if that's a hit. Eh, it looked like a hit. I would love that because I think amphibious invasions, both attacking and defending, are really compelling, like, military, uh, situations to have in video games. Like, look at this. Dat, 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 dat. Yeah, using a little grease gun submachine gun at distance. How's that working out for you, Bob? Bob, don't shoot me. Hold fire, Bob. Bob! Don't fire! <laughs> he didn't listen, he just shot around me. Alright, Bob. I appreciate you. If someone puts a wall in front of you, you're like, I don't care. If you're in front of me, I'll go around you, under you, and stuff. That's what I read on the interwebs for motivationalspeeches.com. Alright, so here we go. Now we're in spectator mode. Because I just kind of want to see if we missed anything. Now that we have access to the water with, like... I, we've always had boats, and now we've had amphibious craft. If it ever evolves further to where, like, these guys can swim under it, it'd be really cool to see how submarines could work. Because I think it's clear it's moving in that direction, right? So let's actually see over here. We never really explored this base. But you see here? There's a machine gun. It's not much to defend because the blue team doesn't have any landing craft or anything to make it over. Unless they tried to swim, which would be pretty funny. It would be, you know, uh, the old Marianas turkey shoot, as they call it. Marianas was an example of a turkey shoot, but you know. But like, that'd be kind of cool, right? To have that ebb and flow of war. Like, what if over here there was a little harbor? Now, this is Emperor's first map and people could take inspiration from it and he could even refine it even more. But I just think there is, like, when you look at a sandbox game, it's easy to, <laughs> it's easy to have a dude on a Zodiac boat running over another guy. Um, but it's also easy to see, like, how, the potential of it, right? Because that's just what sandboxes are. They lend themselves to the creativity of the masses, of the community. And I love to see it. And I love to play it. And it just gets me thinking every time. But I'm thinking about a really cool, compelling game mode for Ravenfield. Ah. Don't you love the smell of bombs being dropped on people swimming in the ocean in the morning? That's the phrase, right? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Let me know if you want to see more. What mods or eras of history you'd like to see the battles. As I just kind of look over this gorgeous beach. I might resize those Czech uh, hedgehog tank traps. But other than that, this is a this is a beautiful map. Emperor. Well done. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.